For the first project, you're going to need three pieces of any type of board. I'm using canvas board. A writing utensil. Pencil is easiest because you can always erase it if you make a mistake. Some paint, a paintbrush, and some ribbon. So I chose the quote, don't be sharp. Don't be flat, just be natural. I started by writing it out in pencil and then went over it with some black paint. I used a black sharpie to write the word just. Then I attached some twine to the back of the boards using hot glue and then using push pins, I hung my boards to the wall. For the second project, you're going to need some twine, a pair of scissors, some old music that you don't mind cutting up, and a really cute glass jar. This is really simple. All you have to do is cut a piece of your music, roll it up, tie it with some twine, and put it inside the jar. If you have a larger jar, you can use larger sheets of paper and longer scrolls and more scrolls. I placed this little guy on top of my piano. For the next project, you're going to need scissors, some glue, a tray with some water in it, black paint, a paintbrush, a pair of scissors, and once again, some more old music. You'll also need a nice, strong, sturdy surface, so I'm going to be using a large canvas board. So the first step is to cut up your music. I personally like the way it looks when it's messy but if you want it to be super nicely cut, you can cut it that way too. Make sure to have plenty of them cut in different shapes and sizes as well. tray, mix some water and some Elmer's white glue. This will ensure that the glue will dry clear. When it's completely mixed in, just start gluing your pieces of music down onto the canvas. I glued them down in different positions and used different shapes because I found that the variety was really interesting. Because the glue is watered down, you can paint right over the pieces of music and nothing will happen. It will just give it a glossy finish. When all the pieces were glued down, I went over the entire thing with one more layer of glue. to dry and after it was completely dried I used a pair of scissors to cut off the little pieces of paper hanging around the sides. Finally using black 
black paint and a thin paintbrush, I painted the words, let it be, onto the canvas. added a little music note. Then using some string or whatever you'd like, hang your artwork onto the wall. For this last project, I'm going to be making musical pillows. For this, you're going to need cloth, a sharpie, some stuffing, and needle or thread, fabric glue, sewing machine, whatever it is you'd like to use. Because I cannot cut cloth straight for the life of me, I got pre-cut cloth and wrote rest on it. Under the word rest, I drew on some different musical rests. Because I didn't like how the black sharpie looked on the brown cloth, I went over the black letters in white paint. After the paint dried, I folded it outside in so that the part that I wanted facing outside was folded inwards. Then I sewed all sides of the pillow shut except for a little bit just so that I can stuff it. If you also chose to get pre-cut cloth, don't worry about the folds in the cloth. When you stuff the pillow, the folds will automatically go away. I then flipped the cloth inside out and then stuffed it. Don't forget to pull out and stuff all the corners. was completely stuffed, I sewed the opening shut. And there you go. I also made another pillow for my chair that said I love music. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time.